since we have a limit. Um, our problem of practice, we're in part of the ACT Transformation Leadership Grant, and our team is two different schools. It's Breath at High School and SMS Middle School. So one of the issues we were having was we, were, we needed to establish school students will develop and utilize habits of success, will, will enable and advance their own learning outcomes and successfully transition to the next grade level. So basically what that was is we don't have a good transition from middle to high school, and that's what we were working on. Um, on the resource side, we're trying to work on some things like PLCs where we join our teachers together. Um, we are in partnership meeting. So on this side, we're trying to do some things that get our schools together on the same page. Community partners, we're, that is a real weakness in Bretha. We, we haven't got the community support that we need. So part of our problem of practice is we're reaching out. And our middle school is, he's going to speak a little more about that, is, is taking that ball on more than we are. We're looking more at the accountability part of it. So I'm going to let Mr. Hamilton, who is our middle school principal, come and talk a minute. And I'm sure like a lot of you, when you're talking about community partners, we are a very small district, large county, but we don't have a lot of industry. And getting those community partners involved, like Ms. McDaniel was saying, is, is very difficult. But we're reaching out, we're trying to put some activities together to get more involvement with those folks. And really, I'm sorry, I wasn't holding close enough. And really, we got to get some surveys and some things out to those folks to really see what it is they're looking for and try to find out what they're willing to do to assist us with this program. Um, yeah, I was trying to see what, uh, and look, really looking back at that, you know, looking at the success of our high school and middle school plan, uh, engaging everybody with the community, teachers, um, ACT team, principals, everyone involved, getting our elementary school eventually involved in this as well uh, so that we can work with them. Of course, we're looking right now at seventh and eighth grade students transitioning onto the high school. Eventually, we also want to get our elementary school involved where we're doing some of the transition work with our incoming sixth graders coming to the middle school. Um, principal, kind of what we're doing at this point is organizing time to make sure we're getting these meetings in. We're doing PLC work with high school, middle school, and then also middle school, elementary. Uh, collaborating with across our schools to monitor the success of our program, but again, we are in the early stages. Also, coaching our teachers and designing and implementing lessons and learning opportunities, and then incentives and micro-credentialing to work in conjunction with ACT teams. So really, we got to get student buy-in and we know we have to do some things that are going to make this very appealing to them if it's going to take hold and really find success with it. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we, what our plan is going to have for teachers. Um, we, we just actually made it up the other day, um, but we're basically our first phase is to like set out a survey to kids and get their feedback. And we're, t we're talking about like habits that make you successful in whatever grade you just finished. Cause we're talking about transitioning from grade to grade. Um, and so on the teacher side, what we're planning is we have a PLC earlier or er, coming up in November. Right. Um, and we're hoping that by that PLC, when we have the middle school and high school together, we will have this data from kids and we can sit down in teams of teachers and say, okay, this is what the kids have said makes you a successful seventh grader or a successful 12th grader or whatever. Based on what they've said, have the teachers actually be part of the process of narrowing that down and deciding what we're going to focus on as we go. Um, and then we also, I mean, this isn't going to work unless teachers are very much part of it. And so... Um, also asking the teachers to help us come up with how we're going to measure this stuff, how we're going to get kids to buy in, um, and very much like let teachers see what kids are saying so that we can then, we can come up with a, a plan that's like teachers are completely involved in. What else did we, I think that's pretty much, yeah. So if you're familiar with the um, setup of this, you'll know that originally there was no column for students. And we actually added that in because um, we felt that it was really important that the students have some uh, part of ownership with this program that we're trying to implement and that they have a say. Because so often, I think the students feel like 
we're just making these things up and then we're pushing it down on them and they never get to give feedback or get to give their opinion. So we've developed a survey that will ask them to essentially give us their expertise on the grade level they just completed and tell us some habits that they wish they would have had or did develop throughout the year that make them successful in their current grade. We're gonna administer this uh, survey through the English classes, seven through 12, and then bring that data to the meeting that we're gonna have in November so that the teachers can see what the students are saying and then give their input on that information. Um, we also want to consult them on the incentive process and the monitoring process. Um, and we're going to implement mentoring throughout this program as well. So we want their advice and um, information on how they feel that's going, whether or not they feel it's beneficial. And finally, um, we want them to complete another survey at the end of the year um, in which they can um, tell us what they felt the program did for them or where we missed and what we can go back and fix for the following year. Um, we're also thinking about um, developing a um, sort of like a student council that will confer with the four of us and the others involved in this process, um, two students from each grade, seven through 12, who represent a variety of backgrounds and um, knowledge and their involvement in different uh, activities. So we're hoping that by having all those voices, this will be um, a really successful thing that we can continue year by year. So one thing I'm not sure, we, we wanted to create habits of success for the students as they go. And the only people that can tell us those habits are the students. So we, it could be as simple as I wish they had materials in the class when I can't afford them myself. Those are things that we don't know, but if a student tells us, then that can be a part of our process here. So. It's new and, and we just saw a great need in Breathitt County for us to be on the same page. And uh, that's kind of what our whole problem is, is we want them to move forward with as little obstacles as possible. Thank you.